You see what 1% lawlessness look like? These gates have been assembled here and properly installed without any permission from any relevant authority. The Diego Martin Regional Corporation, that the people who did this are saying, gave them permission, are on record saying they have granted nobody any permission to put these gates up in Bayshore. All of this, all of this structure, all of this is illegal. All of this is breaking the law. All of this is breaking the law. This morning I got a document sent to me from a WhatsApp group by a person named Ada Abud Polony. Who took it upon herself. She and Lindsay Gillette, I have been told, of the Gillette group and other people took it upon themselves to close a public road to seize ownership of it and restrict every other taxpaying citizen from having access to it. That is a crime. This is a criminal act. And I'm calling on the Commissioner of Police today to launch an investigation into this action by Mr. Lindsay Gillett and Ms. Ada Abud Polony as to the extent of the law breaking that has taken place here. And I am calling on the Diego Martin Regional Corporation and I am going to be making a call to them live after lunch today to insist that they send workers here today to break these illegal structures and cart them away and to serve notice to the people that install them that this is the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. If you don't like the rest of the people that you're living with, pack up and leave. But don't block the people on them road. Because this road here, Ada Abood, Polony, neither the Abood family or the Polony family built this road. I was living in West Morins when this was done. This is not Gillette Road. This is not Abood and Polony Road. This is not 1% road. This is the gate that was damaged by a gentleman who acted on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago when he saw an illegal obstacle in the road. He moved it. He should be given a national award for acting on behalf of the people. This is what 1% privilege looks like when they believe that they can do what the hell they like. $350 a month buys you the ability to keep all the other people out of the street. But this is a public road and they don't have that authority. This is an illegal structure obstructing a public road. And the Diego Martin Regional Corporation and the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service are both failing in their responsibilities that these still stand here. The government of Trinidad and Tobago is breaking the law by allowing this to take place. Now I know Ada boasts that she and Rowley is friends and Rowley is come and eat in her house. I know that. But this, Rowley don't have the permission or the authority to do this. And these gates is as Marie Antoinette as this country could ever get. Where certain people believe that they are so above everybody else that even the roads they drive on must be exclusive to them. This is the level of bullshit that we have gotten to as a country. A bunch of people that using the courts, 
using authority that is not theirs to use. Telling people that if you talk about the 1% and their 1% activities, they're going and charge you with sedition. Like they're controlling the director of public prosecutions too. Because I have comments from Ada Abud Polony threatening people with sedition. Last time I checked, the only person who could charge anybody with sedition is the director of public prosecutions. And I want to know, in my country of Trinidad and Tobago, where we go in, where we go in, that certain people get themselves a little bit of money, think they're better than everybody else in the country, and could seize control of a public road and block everybody else from using it. This is total madness.